What's the first thing you think of when you hear the phrase gun control? Arguably one of the most controversial knee-jerk reaction topics currently dividing America. Maybe those two words, simple words, gun control, just made your shoulders tense up. These past few weeks, the Stoneman Douglas High School kids have started to make change with their fiery, poignant activism, but it's frustratingly easy to overgeneralize the issue of gun control and the supposed two slides clashing over the matter. In 2018, as of March 6th, there have been 39 mass shootings and in total, there have been 2,533 gun-related deaths, whether that's domestic violence, mass shooting-related, police-related, etc. And it's barely March. A mass shooting is defined as any shooting where four or more people are injured or killed. But don't be fooled, the post recently circulating through Facebook saying there have been 18 school shootings already includes accidental discharges and incidents where nobody was harmed. And as much as I hope that I look trustworthy and smart, you should still take the time to do your own research on topics that matter to you including any statistics that you hear from me or anyone else. Roughly 60% of Americans want stricter gun control, according to a recent Gallup poll. Considering all the anguish and death, why are so few bills being passed and some of those being repealed? Stumbling block number one, misinformation and miscommunication. For those in favor of gun control, likely to be leaning democratic, imprecise language can alienate gun owners in favor of change, like when CNN ran a segment on bump stocks, but showed a picture of a gun with no bump stock and a grenade launcher. Know for sure what the definitions of an automatic weapon, an assault rifle, and an assault weapon are. That last one, assault weapon, is even kind of a trick question because there's no official definition, meaning it just contributes to public confusion when used in discussions. It's okay to say you don't know something. Stumbling block number two. The National Rifle Association started out a good idea. They do safety trainings and sponsor college shooting competitions, but they also do propaganda and super PACs, contributing millions in the most recent election cycle, opposing Hillary Clinton. They are similarly involved in state level elections. What can you do about this? Change starts with small groups of dedicated people. America doesn't have to keep trending toward an oligarchy. So if two of the main factors preventing change are misinformation and a large, filthy rich organization, that gives rise to two things you can do right away. Inform yourself. Talk to someone with an opposing viewpoint. They probably aren't as extreme as you'll go in thinking, as I've found time and again. The most radical people yell the loudest. Not necessarily a bad thing, but something to keep in mind. Double text your legislators. As in, email them, call them, go to town halls, let them know that you're aware who's funding them, and it makes a difference in whether they'll have your vote. In conclusion, education and action are key. Watch the news even though it sucks. Don't let yourself be numb. Talk to people whose opinions make you see red. Watch interviews with the victims' families and the kids who survived those shootings. It's sad and awful and unnerving, but ignoring it or liking posts on Facebook that oppose it won't make it go away. Inaction leads to exhaustion and frustration. Make America think again.